Welcome everyone. My name is Maggie Hudipal. I'm sure we've all had some sort of difficulty trying to eat healthy on a college campus. I know I have. Throughout this video, I'll be teaching you how to make butternut squash brownies. These are a healthy alternative to regular brownies and for those who may have a dietary restriction, they are vegan. At the end of this- So to create these delicious brownies, the first step that you're gonna need to do is to get the nine ingredients necessary to make these, which is butternut squash, baking cocoa powder, chocolate chips if you would like, sea salt, or just regular salt, it doesn't really make a difference, vanilla extract, baking soda, just generic flour, and sugar. Here's a better view of all the ingredients that you will need to make these. So the first thing that you need to do to make these is to make a puree out of your squash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this bag into the blender and mix. So I'm actually sticking the squash in the microwave just for about like 30 seconds because it's frozen right now, so it's a bit hard to mix. So I'm just gonna open the bag. And then you're going to do that until it's fully blended. So our next step is you want to set the oven to a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you want to get an 8x8 pan like this one and spray it or put some butter on it so that the brownies don't stick. So you're gonna want one bowl for your wet ingredients and then one bowl for your dry ingredients. So in the dry ingredients, we're gonna do our sugar, flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. So I'll start with that first. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna get a half cup of our cocoa powder. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so you want a half cup. I, have, I put a bit extra on accident, but we'll start with that. And then you're gonna to wanna to add three fourths cup of just regular sugar. And then we will add two thirds cup of just regular flour. And then our next dry ingredient will be half a tablespoon of baking soda. Sorry, teaspoon, not a tablespoon. And then you're gonna wanna add half a teaspoon of salt. Then again, you can use regular salt or sea salt. It doesn't really matter. Um, I prefer sea salt because I like them a little bit more salty, but you can really do whichever one. So what you wanna do after that is once you have all your dry ingredients in the bowl is just to mix them together so that they're all combined. And then your dry ingredients should look fairly similar to this. Next, we wanna do our wet ingredients. So what you're gonna need is First start off with two eggs and then you're gonna want to put them in your wet ingredient bowl. And then next we wanna add one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. So, you get your one teaspoon and fill it up, pour that in there, 
And then next you're gonna wanna add your squash. So this is like the secret ingredient, I guess. So you want just about a cup of your puree of squash. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into a cup. So here's my squash puree. So I'm just gonna pour that in with the rest of the wet ingredients. You don't have to put it in a cup like I did. I just did it so I made sure that I had the exact amount and not too much or too little. And then once your oven is preheated to 350 degrees, you're going to place it in the oven for about 25 minutes. Once you take them out, they should look like this. I would definitely test them with a knife or something or a toothpick to just make sure that they're solid all the way through. 